Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tanner. This video is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to help you if you missed any of the blanks for the season notes from that three minute Crash Course Kids video. So we're going to go over all the blanks. And then second, it's going to help you to model what the positions of the earth and sun are like for each of the seasons. So you might want to pause this video here in just a second and set up the next page of your notebook, label it modeling the seasons, and then have in each of the quadrants, winter, northern hemisphere, southern, so, or summer, southern hemisphere, spring, northern hemisphere, fall, southern hemisphere, summer, northern hemisphere, winter, southern hemisphere, fall, northern hemisphere, and spring, southern hemisphere. So go ahead and pause this and then set up your notebook and then you can resume it once you have your notebook set up and all ready to go. All right, let's start with the blanks. I'm going to scoot this over here. So the order of the seasons starts with winter. And then we have spring. After spring, we have summer. And summer is followed by fall, or also called autumn. The sun and the seasons are linked. The seasons are caused by the sun and also the tilt of the earth. The earth is orbits around the sun, making its orbit every about 365 days. We know it's a little bit more than that, close to a quarter more. The Earth is tilted on its axis, though. And this the axis is the invisible line about which the Earth rotates. The Earth can be divided into northern and southern hemispheres. And the hemisphere, whether it's the north or the south, the hemisphere that is pointing towards the sun is getting direct sunlight. Direct sunlight. It gets a lot more intense sunlight that heats it up. And this means that the sunlight is also hitting it straight on. So because that sunlight is hitting straight on towards the earth, that hemisphere that's pointed at the sun gets much warmer, causing it to be summer, making it summer. The hemisphere that's pointing away from the sun gets indirect sunlight, which means the light is hitting it at an angle. Indirect sunlight carries a lot less energy over the same area, it makes it a lot colder, which means it represents winter. So again, the hemisphere pointing towards the sun makes it summer. The hemisphere pointing away from the sun makes it winter. When neither hemisphere is pointing at the sun, like if they're pointing to the side of the sun, that's when we have spring and fall. Direct sunlight causes more heat energy to reach the earth. Indirect sunlight causes less heat energy to reach the earth. And then for circling the diagrams for summer and winter in the northern hemisphere, it's only asking about the northern hemisphere. Well, on the picture on the left, the northern hemisphere is pointed away from the sun. If we wanted to represent this with an arrow, the northern hemisphere is pointed slightly away from the sun. The southern hemisphere is pointed slightly toward the sun. So this makes it winter in the northern or in the northern hemisphere. Of course, it would be summer in the southern hemisphere. It's pointing toward the sun. The seasons on the opposite hemispheres are always opposite. When it's summer in the north, it's winter in the south. When it's winter in the north, or when it's winter in the north, it's summer in the south. And here, the picture on the right, the north is tilted slightly toward the sun. The south is tilted slightly away from the sun. That makes this summer in the northern hemisphere, which means it would be winter in the southern hemisphere. All right, let's move on to our modeling of the seasons. That means we're going to look at the position of the earth and the sun for each of the different seasons. We will start by doing the winter in the northern hemisphere, summer in the southern hemisphere. We're just going to start by drawing a sun. 
So I'm going to draw it a little bit over here towards the left-hand side. There's the sun. I'm going to make Earth blue. But what we have to remember is that the Earth is tilted on its axis. Here's the northern hemisphere. Here's the southern hemisphere. And this is winter in the northern hemisphere because it is pointed away from the sun. It's summer in the southern hemisphere because the southern hemisphere is pointed toward the sun. You don't need to draw those arrows, but when it's winter in the northern hemisphere, based on the Earth's tilt, the Earth is, from where we're looking at it, to the right of the sun. All right, let's move on to spring in the northern hemisphere, which is fall in the southern hemisphere. The Earth orbits the sun counterclockwise. So what would actually be happening as the Earth orbits, draw like a little dotted line here, as the Earth orbits, it goes behind the sun. From our perspective, looking down on the page, the Earth is like behind the sun, but we can't see that when we're drawing it. So rather than represent the Earth as being drawn behind the sun, we represent it going above above the sun, because then we can see what's happening. Just keep in mind, the Earth is not actually going up and over the sun. It goes behind the sun. We're just representing it this way. Again, we draw the tilt, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Neither hemisphere is pointed at the sun here. They're pointed left and right of the sun. This makes the seasons relatively similar. The difference is in the spring, plants are coming to life. Flowers are blooming. A lot of animals give birth to their young during the spring. And in the fall, everything's preparing for winter. So really, the key differences between spring and fall is what the life on Earth is doing, not the amount of sunlight that the Earth is getting. So here's our model for spring. The Earth keeps orbiting to the point that it is now over here. Might make that a little bit bigger. We have our northern hemisphere and our southern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere is now pointed at the sun. The southern hemisphere is pointed away. That means it's summer in the northern hemisphere, winter in the southern hemisphere. And then for our last model, we're looking at fall in the northern hemisphere. Got our sun. And again here, the Earth is orbiting, and it would actually be passing directly in front of the sun. But again, that kind of blocks the sun. So we, instead of drawing it in front of the sun, draw it below the sun. But that's not really where its position is. Northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Again, neither hemisphere is pointing at the sun. So it makes it fall for the northern hemisphere because it's following summer and spring in the southern hemisphere because it is following winter. So you have to keep in mind that the planet is orbiting counterclockwise to make sense of the positions in knowing the season. So this would go one, two, three. Four. That's the seasons in order. I hope this helped and I hope you got a good chance to add this to your notebook. Thanks for watching.